Kirsten Cinema uh, gave a rare interview the other day, and um, she spoke to a, a local, what was it, a Fox affiliate or an ABC affiliate, some local news outlet in Arizona. And man, this guy is such a sycophant, and he gushes over her. Let me show you the part that made me cringe the most. Washington Post kind of stole my word in their interview that is published now about how you are viewed as sort of an enigma in Washington, how, you know, New York Times can write you up in, in columns, in editorial columns on one page, and then in the next page, the fashion department is writing stories all about you. Um, <laughs> how do you look at that? And, and um, I mean, does it amuse you when you see all of that, that people don't, they, they don't really know who you are, and so they kind of conjure up who they think you are? You know, Mark, like most Arizonans, I don't pay any attention to what they're talking about in the national media. I just stay focused on what matters, which is listening to folks at home in Arizona, working hard and delivering results. I mean, what, I don't even know what enigma means, really. No one really does. What I do know is this. I'm a straight shooter. Folks know who I am. It's the same person I've always been, and they know that I'm going to go to work every day work hard, and bring home the results for Arizona families. I'll just keep doing that. Thanks for taking the time, Senator. Thanks, absolutely. That was like North Korean propaganda. By the way, I watched the entire interview. It's much longer. You should check it out. Um, not a single difficult question the entire time. Not a single hard question the entire time. And it almost seems like she's reading from a cue card the whole time. Now, I don't think she is. I think that's just how she talks. But for the love of God, she's a robot. She's a machine. So his question, by the way, that was the last question, by the way, that he gave her. The last one. He was like, you're an enigma. You can do serious policy, and the New York Times will write about it on one page. And then on the other page, they talk about your fashion. Easy, Sparky. Calm down. Is that a tent you're pitching? Relax. Relax. What's wrong with you? Be a serious reporter. Be a journalist. What are you doing? So imagine sitting down with Kirsten Cinema, and she very famously stays away from the media as much as possible. But imagine sitting down with Kirsten Cinema, and you don't have a single question to ask about the fact that she ran on lowering drug prices previously. And now she flipped her position and she's against lowering drug prices. And the reason why is she took a million dollars from Big Pharma. He didn't ask a single question about that. He didn't ask a single question about any of the plethora of lobbyist ghouls that she's raising money from. Nothing. Nothing. This is some death of journalism nonsense. I love when she says, I'm a straight shooter. Oh, are you? By the way, they worked out a compromise on lowering drug prices. Remember, I, I told you guys about this. They went from saying, we're going we're gonna to negotiate for lower drug prices for all the drugs, to now, because of people like Bob Menendez and Kirsten Cinema who were like, we don't want to lower drug prices at all. They reached a compromise of, we'll lower 10 drug prices by like 2025. It'd be nice if the guy in the media asked her something about that, wouldn't it? Instead, he lets her get away with saying stuff like, I'm a straight shooter. Oh, are you? Uh, by the way, another line that drove me crazy at another uh, portion of the interview that you didn't see there is she kept, she kept saying this over and over. I'm a workhorse, not a show horse. Shut off, son. I'm a workhorse, not a show horse. The fact of the matter is, the stuff that she was doing throughout the entire negotiation, it was indefensible. And that's why she was largely out of the media's eye. Totally indefensible. So she went to the biggest softball of all softball interviewers. There's another part of this where he's like, I, I've known you for decades. And she's like, yeah. And he's like, he's like, but you look a lot better than I do. <laughs> Dog, go, go to the bathroom beforehand, rub one out, get it out of your system, relax. What's wrong with you? I mean, this is the worst so-called journalism and reporting I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> this is one of the reasons why people not only hate politicians, and by the way, Congress has a 12% approval rating to show you just how much people hate politicians, but people also hate the media. Historic low trust in media. That's where we're at right now. Because a lot of them want to be in the club. So they're willing to overlook rampant corruption and legalized bribery because they just think that's just how it works. 
What are we arguing about? That's just how it works. I don't see a problem with this. It's just, it's just how it is. What are we going to do? You know, you run for office, you make all these promises, but then uh, Wall Street comes in and gives you money, and the military industrial complex comes in and they give you money, and big oil comes in and they give you money, and big pharma comes in and they give you money, and then what are you going to do? You have to represent the people who gave you the money. And so if the American people have to pay higher drug prices and grandma ha can't afford her pills, ration them, bitch. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. And we got horny weirdos who can't help themselves who are asking, <laughs> you're an enigma. Tell me about your policy and your fashion. <laughs> are you a straight shooter? <laughs> uh, and you wonder why people turn to shows like this. I'm just, a, I'm just a regular guy. I'm just a normal dude. I'm just covering what I see in the news that I find interesting and giving my opinion. In a media ecosystem that was anywhere near rational, this show becoming popular would be impossible. Impossible. Because the stuff that I'm bringing up is stuff you would see on CNN. But you don't see it on CNN. So you got to come to YouTubers like mine who get deranked and pushed down in the algorithm. So, by the way... Thank you if you're still here, because I know they don't like to expand it to any new people. And so, anyway, that's a different story for a different day. But one of the worst interviews I've ever seen, if you're talking to Joe Manchin, if you're talking to Kirsten Cinema, and you're not asking about corruption, you're not asking about, hey, you're representing the donors over the people. Look at these polls that show the American people want all these provisions to build back better, and you're against all of them. Wow, explain that. Aren't we supposed to live in a democracy? What's going on here? Over 80% of Arizonans want lower drug prices, and Kirsten Cinema was against it. What are you doing? They didn't ask any of those questions. They didn't ask any of those questions. And it's a shame. It's pathetic. And uh, it, it really shows you how far off base we are and how broken politics is, how broken the media is. And um, it leads to a situation where there feels like there's never any accountability because apparently there's not. Apparently she's going to weigh with stripping all this stuff out. And uh, even the politicians who nominally wanted the right things, they're not going to fight her on it. If the Democratic Party is only as good as its most conservative and corrupt member, then it is flat out a conservative and a corrupt party, and I don't even think that's controversial to say.